Welcome back to Tech Solution Z. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the complete and practical way to install Belina Etcher on Zorin OS 18 using every method available on the official Etcher download page. Etcher's become the go-to tool for creating bootable USB drives, whether you're flashing Windows ISO files, Linux distributions, or Raspberry Pi images, and it's known for its reliability, speed, and clean interface. If you're someone who experiments with multiple operating systems or sets up bootable drives often, Etcher is one of those essential tools you want to keep ready on your system. Now, Etcher offers different download formats for Linux, and each one works a little differently. Instead of leaving you confused about which one you should pick, I'm going to cover all three. The zip package, the app image file, and the deb installer. On Zornin OS 18, all three work perfectly, and the right choice really depends on how you want to use Etcher. We'll start with the zip file for 64-bit systems. When you open the Etcher download page, you'll notice that the Linux zip file doesn't behave like a normal installer. It's actually a portable version of Etcher. That means you don't install anything. You simply extract the zip, open the folder, and launch the Etcher executable. Nothing is added to your system menus, and no dependencies are installed. This is great for people who don't want to modify their system, want to run Etcher from an external drive, or just prefer the simplicity of a quick portable tool. I'll show you on screen how to download the zip, extract it, make the main file executable, and run Etcher instantly. Next, we'll move to the app image method, which is especially important if you're using older hardware or even a 32-bit Linux system. Etcher still provides app images that support 32-bit machines, and that's becoming rare these days. App images are completely self-contained. Think of them as a single file that holds everything Etcher needs to run. No installation, no messing with system files, just give it permission to run, double-click it, and you're good to go. This is the easiest method for compatibility and is perfect if you're running lightweight systems or hopping between distros. And lastly, the method most people prefer for daily use, installing Etcher with the deb file. This is the classic installation method for Ubuntu-based systems like Zorin OS 18. The deb file integrates Etcher directly into your system. Once it's installed, Etcher appears in your application menu like any regular app. The installation process is simple. Download the deb file, double-click it, and let Zorin software installer handle it. No manual configuration needed. This method feels the most polished, and it keeps Etcher accessible every time you boot your system. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly which version of Etcher suits your workflow. The portable zip build, the universal app image for 32-bit and 64-bit systems, or the clean and integrated deb installation. I'll walk you through every step on screen so you can follow along easily. Whether you're preparing a USB for Windows, installing a new Linux distro, or creating bootable drives for work, Etcher remains one of the most reliable flashing tools available on Linux, and Zorin OS 18 runs it beautifully.